they pretend, they copy, they emulate, they fabricate falsehood. But they can never be like us. Long after we are gone, they will wish we lived forever. IPOB is very special. Exceptionally special. The largest mass movement in the whole world bar none. And we did it because Chukwuki Kabiyama is with us. We did it because Chukwuki Kabiyama created IPOB himself. And we are here to pilot its affairs. We will not prevaricate. We will not stop. We will not slumber until Biafra is fully restored to its former glory. Anybody in doubt as to our resilience and our determination to restore Biafra is not only mistaken, not only misguided, but needs to see a psychiatrist. Because we are not stopping. I am a numb decan and I don't stop until I get what I want. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. One more time, this is Radio Biafra USA 2. My name is Marzi Ike Peters. We are broadcasting live from New York City under the auspices of our mother station, Radio Biafra London. Don't forget today is the day for the fundraising in the Zoom meeting that is coming up. Um, it's better to be there, part of it. Later, I'm going to give you the information I did that yesterday and I did that two days ago. We are getting prepared for this fascinating town's uh, um, fundraising uh, with a special guest of honor, Mr. Mazen Namdekano. is going to be there. So you have to call in and make sure that you take part in it. We are raising money to support our ESM. We all see what is going on in Orlo right now. It, it, it is a show of force, actually, is what they are doing. They're just trying to fly around to show us that they are, they are there. Well, uh, it's not unexpected. The truth is that we are the victims here. We are not looking for trouble. We are in our home. So whatever they come to do to us, we will not sit down and fold our hands and let them kill us. No, definitely not. They've killed us before, over and over, and many, many times from 1945 till today, they're still killing us. They're not tired. But we're not going to relent. Definitely, we're not going to. Certainly, certainly, for sure, we are not going to relent. No matter what they do, no matter how much they try, we we have our lives to protect. We keep on protecting our land. They do, no grazing law stands, and nobody's going to change that because it's a law that is already there. We have our Eastern Security Network to enforce an existing law. We're not creating any new law for anybody. If whatever they say, that is their own problem. We are there to protect ourselves, to protect our land. Our land is very important to us. And nobody is going to come and take it over from us. No matter how much they try. We know they will try definitely. There's no doubt. They keep on trying to take what doesn't belong to them. But we know that the land belongs to us. It's our land. And that nobody. It will just mean nobody is going to take it from us. No matter what you do. They created the monsters that is killing them in the north. And let them keep on dying with their monsters. But we. In Biafra land, we don't want any problem. You're not going to live in our bushes. You're going to come out to the city and rent a house like everybody else. If that living in the bush is your culture, well, take it to your home. In our own land, in our own Biafra, the, our culture is to rent a house in the bushes after remain there for farming and for farmers. We cannot live in a situation where our mothers and sisters and daughters will go to the farm to farm and they get raped. By these hoodlums, these people that know nothing better with themselves. These are cow. These are worse than even the cows that they are running because even the cows themselves uh, respect themselves. But you know these people, they 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 are just terrible, just terrible people. I'm telling you honestly. This morning we are still here to talk about the issues that concerns us, and no matter what anybody does, we are Biafrans, and Biafra is our thing. There's nothing anybody can do. The crimes you have in the north, the insecurity you have in the north, is as a direct consequence of their own action. They groomed them. Al Qaeda in the Maghreb, Al ISIS in West Africa, Boko Haram, Fulani headsmen, bandits, all of them. Who brought them to Nigeria? Is Fulani? 
Funny brought them into Nigeria. Erufai brought them in. Bauchi state government brought them in. Are you people deaf and dumb and stupid? When you come out and you pretend, oh, we are one, one Nigeria, go and show me. Somebody was asking, where is the boundary? Uh, where would the boundary of uh, Biafra begin? And I asked the fool, where, where, where did the boundary of Nigeria begin? People from Niger come in and go as they like. Most of these idiots are from Niger. They are building a pipeline to Niger. They are building a railway line to Niger. They are building roads to Niger. Whereas where the money comes from, which is Biafra land, we don't have those infrastructure. No, we don't. But you're taking our money. You come to Izombe. You come to Ohaji. You come to Ebema. You come to, to, to Aguleri. You come to uh, Eboni. You take our resources, sell it, get the money, and now you're building the way to the Nigeria Republic. And you want me to be happy with you. Clap for you all. Nigeria is doing well. One Nigeria. <laughs> that is the truth. They don't want to face the truth. Because, but we, we know the truth, and we're going to face it regardless of what they say. We are getting Biafra, whether they like it or not. I was talking about all oh, what is going on there is a show of force. They are coming to, you know, they are bluffing. I bet <laughs> we are not going to sit down there and let them take our land. We have to talk. People are talking. Our senator, Abari Bay, is on the floor of the house speaking and saying something that makes sense. We are not asking you, Fulanese, to go away from our land. What we are saying is come out of the bushes rent a house and live with everybody else if you are not going to do that get out we are not we are because when we come to your own place if you have a place you don't have full don't even have any place anywhere in nigeria they are not part of nigeria they just came from the sahel to dominate the house people and now they keep saying house are full there's no such thing house is house are full and full and full does not have a home in nigeria they were born here yes but that doesn't give them the right to want to dominate and take the land that don't belong to them. We are asking you out of our bushes, a cow grazing in the streets, walking around the place is against the law and we are going to enforce that law, no matter what you do. You can show all the force you want. When you fly over, finish, come down. I don't even know why people are panicking about because they see an aircraft running around the air. Go ahead. Nobody, no country wins a war with it from the airplane, my brother. Listen, I was in the thing and I know what I'm talking about. If you got a child, I can't know, you will come down. When you come down, you will die. <laughs> That's the point. No matter what you do, the, 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 air, the plane, what the abnormally planes do during the war is that they, you know, they, 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 they're supporting the land forces. They're supporting, you know, they, they, they are doing the flying over and bombing and all that. And then the people will fight on the ground. So they can fly all they want and they're all, why are you people panicking? What is the big deal? They are flying the plane. It's so big deal. What is the, what are they, let them start doing what they want to do. Let us see it happen. Not just flying around and fooling themselves. They're making a fool of themselves. You can never win the war from the air. If you got a child, you make a confederacy, you make a war, you will come down. You will come to occupy the land. <laughs> it's a show of force Nganga. Yanga. Yeah, right. What they couldn't do in Sambisa Forest. Look at them. Shameless and idiotic people. Extremely shameless people, and they say have no shame in them. Absolutely. That brings me to this idiot. Peter. Peter Okoye. That's what his name is. Call him P Square. That fool, that bloody idiot who is talking. I read something that he said. And it's, it's, it's amazing. He's an Igbo man, according to him. He was born in the north. He speaks out fluently. Kudos to your, to your elbow. Then he's married to a Yoruba woman. Kudos. Look at his credentials. He speaks out fluently. I should clap for him. Then he's married to a Yoruba woman. An idiot who is just jumping around with, from from with his brother you think we don't know we were all in the show business we know your brother pushed you up you're not a musician you know that come on man <laughs> you know that don't don't bring us in that those who live in glass houses don't do what they don't throw stones those who be no 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 glass it will you might break your your glasses you don't throw stones because somebody's going to throw it back at you if you don't know what to say in your life please shut up it's Shut up. 
Look at your credentials. You have such a big credential. You are jumping around. Your brother is singing and they want jumping. jump. You think nope, we don't know what is going on. We watch. I'm not a big fan, but I know. Every musician is my fan, though. That I'm a fan to all of them. Believe me. All from beginning to the end. I know some of you. I've met some of you. I've been in this. I'm, I've been in the thing before you came. We know they, they, we know it's movement. Music is movement. You move towards the end, 70s, 80s, 90s. You know, people are coming. More will come. This is 2000. 2005, many of them will come. They keep coming and changing events. So we know who is who. Forget about the fans. You can bamboozle the fans, but those of us who are in the industry will look at you and we know, you know, it's a good thing. You, you and your brother was doing this and very proud of it. Honestly, I loved it. But the truth is that can you stand on your own? Look at you. You don't even have a fan base and you're already destroying yourself. You think, who are buying your records? The Biafrans. Who are the people sponsoring you? The Biafrans. And look at what you're saying to them. You are telling us that we are all stupid. You are born in the north because you speak Hausa fluently. For you, quote and unquote, I speak Hausa fluently. You say kudos to your elbow. And then uh, the next thing is uh, you marry a Yoruba woman. It's no big deal. I have no problem, nothing against you marrying whoever you want to marry. That is your own problem. It doesn't concern us. But why are you bringing it to us? Making it look like we're very silly. In fact, I'm just, I'm just not happy about it. And one of our sisters actually took it upon herself to send you some message. And I'm going to air that message on air for you to hear. Peter Okoye, listen to this, please. Hey, my people, I greet you now. I welcome you all to just a little discussion or some minutes to just say what is on my mind. I know some people must have uh, reacted or responded to our dearly beloved brother. Uh, Peter Okoye. P Square, I think he's the one that is Mr. P. Yeah, Mr. P. The other one, the intelligent one, is the rude boy. Then he is Mr. P. So he, he came to his Twitter handle and he made the statement about the peace of the nation. And then he talked about how he was born in the, in the north, bred up in the north, married the Yoruba woman, and tried to call, convince us that he is Igbo. And uh, he just said, let there be peace. No, everybody should, you know, j you know, that's, that's blanket approach, Ram, there be peace. And then people were angry. People were like upset with his uh, remarks. I would have done this in Igbo. But I don't know if my brother still uh, understands Igbo because he was born in the north and he grew up in the north. And in his household, you know that they don't speak Igbo because his wife is not Igbo. Nothing bad about that. It's his choice. We find love where we find love. So since he made his tweet in, Igbo, in English, I'm going to, I think I just want to say a few things on his comments in English as much as I can because sometimes this English self, they had to speak, you know. So, on to you, my dear brother, Pito Koye of Peace Square. You said uh, you want peace to reign in Nigeria. Let's all live together and all that. Well, I'm not among the people who are upset with you because of your comments. In fact, if I get angry with you because of your comment, then that would be very hypocritical because I am one person that says my mind. I say it as I see it. But I would have respected it that if you came out and took a stand, because if there are people that I cannot stand in this life, it is these middle people. Yeah. People who don't want to stand here or stand here, yes, they right. always want to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. People who want, who they don't want to offend anybody, they don't want to, they don't want you to quote them 
in any way you can't describe them you can't comprehend them they are always around those are the ones that poison you when they are if they are your friends because they will go and make friendship with your friends and then come and be your friend at every time they they they, they have no base they are everywhere i don't respect such people so if you had come out and made your stand you know take a stand like a man and stand by it then i would have said yeah he's he's being truthful to himself that's his truth but coming to dance around it and give us your credentials to remind us that you are qualified to talk to us you understand because we understood the shade you you, you threw there you want to tell us that you are qualified to talk to us to disrespect our struggle to disrespect the things that an evil man go through in nigeria to disrespect the fact that since 1970 that yakub gwon declared no victor no vanquish the war continued to disrespect the fact that your brothers and sisters that left school cannot find a job in any uh, 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 federal establishment just because of their names. I mean, if you can disrespect that, take that stand and stand by it and say, this is what it is. I think you people, my people are troublemakers. Then we will understand it and we can respect you for that. But when you start dancing around, you started by telling us. I'll tell. I'll share a Turkish uh, uh, a proverb with you. It says, "The ass, the axe, came to the jungle and convinced the trees that he is one of them. You know, because I'm made of wood. I am one of you. You are tree. Me too. My handle is wood. So we are together. I am one of you." And the trees believed the axe until they all saw that the, the, the forest was dying. The axe was cutting them down. It is people like you that they use against your own people. That's right. I'm sure you think that if you surround yourself so much with every other person that is not your people, they will deem you as that different evil man. So you can gain a, a, a little bit of their favor. Yeah. Yeah, not like them. I mean, where have you been living in all this while? Can't you see what is going on? Can't you tell yourself the truth when you were little up till now? Can't you see the truth? Can't you see how humiliated, how we have been sat upon for years? Can't you see that? And somebody is saying all of a sudden, please don't kill us, please stay in your place and if you want to come to stay in my place let me know so that we will have that relationship as as neighbors somebody is saying oh no i didn't i didn't say i don't want you in my place but if you're coming to my place don't come in and kill me and take over my land and then somebody says no i must come in by force and as if that is not enough, they carry out their threat, they kill, they maim every day. They stop trans uh, uh, transporting uh, vehicles traveling right now. And they abduct people. And they show us the video how they match up, butcher them, how they, you know, uh, uh, decapitate them, how they destroy human lives. And all you could say, my brother, is say, all these things should end. Let us go on with our lives. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Are you are you are you for are you really serious, my brother? What I want you to help us and do, please, since you are a detribalized Nigerian. I mean, you you touch on all corners. You you were born in in the You're north, not. raised in the north. Mm -hmm. You married Yoruba, so you're partly Yoruba. Then you're Igbo, as you said. Why don't you do away with this your blanket um, advice? and give us a blueprint of how to achieve this peace that you're speaking of. That's right. Just tell us how we can ignore the killings, ignore the maiming, ignore the flagrant disrespect of our culture, our, 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 our right to live, and then we we'll all shove it under the carpet. Maybe if you have a plan that you think can work, don't just run out and say something and run in. 
if it is attention you speak you seek you can release a, a music who we'll all give you all the attention will listen to your music and dance but don't play with people's lives if you are really interested in in championing peace since the ones that are trying to do it are not doing it well and you think you have a good plan please give us a blueprint maybe you have you call for a meeting where you can call the whole you know the key players and your your dear brothers that raised you up the ones that you said they, they gave back to you and raised you up you know you can call all of us we we'll sit down i may not even be there the people that are hired they will all sit down then you prefer solutions on how to get this piece to work then we'll take it if not please take a clue a cue from your brother take a cue from your brother and shut that mouth if not we are not playing here. People are losing their lives on a daily basis. Yes. Women are being raped and debased on many uh, on daily basis. People are losing their livelihood. People are scared to their bones to close their eyes in the night and sleep because they don't know who is going to enter. It's not only in Igbo land now. It's everywhere. We saw what is happening in Oyo. We see what is happening in the north. We see what is happening everywhere. So who exactly were you talking to? I don't know, my sister. Who exactly were you talking to? You think this is dance and the shake shake your waist issue? We are, this is a serious issue. You said you have in your one of your videos you claim to have wealth that will never finish. Maybe if you can use that wealth and put it into action, some of it, maybe we can achieve this peace. Well, you desperately seek that we should forget about like everybody is playing, like we love to make trouble. That is it. Yeah. We love to make trouble. So you want to maybe this your money come to alibo i don't know the last time you visited alibo you said you're an Igbo man the last time you visited alibo i don't know when it was but try and take a little journey down to alibo and then you see how deserted your place is i'm sure you're one of those people that uh, when you are in the midst of those people that you perform to because this is pure performance you just came and danced to the gallery and they applauded you those people that you're dancing to I'm sure that when you are with them, you are the type that tells them that uh, this type of Igbo man is different from me. This one is not the good one. This one, I'm sure you are those ones. You are maybe you, you sometimes you won't even accept that you are, you know, because if you go to your place, you will find that there is no potable water, there is no hospital, there is no good road, there is no security, there is no tr uh, electricity, there is, it's like it's deserted. So everybody, including our politicians, everybody is doing whatever they wish to do. Because all we worship is money. People come in and give you money and steal our future. And you all, maybe, you, I, let this not be a publicity stunt. Let this not be that you want to release one album and you want people to talk about you and you come and play with our lives because if that is it, you have failed. Nobody will buy that album. Of course. Do you know the kind of shame we lived with when you disgraced all of us fighting your brothers? They were saying, look at the Igbos. Look at the Igbos that won't be Afra. Even two, two twins cannot stay together. I know how many people I, 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 I had to explain to here why wouldn't they live together we all lived in that shame we all fought your battle we all tried to explain we all tried to to to, to defend you and you are the one talking to us about peace do you know even the first thing about peace see this is not children's play we're not playing we are not playing because if it happens to you then you will know how serious it is but since it doesn't happen to you or it has not yet happened to you you can come out and just write whatever you like on twitter and run away and and then sit in your mansion and drink your chilled wine and uh, panda to the people that you play to and then you think no don't try it with us i'm telling you People are suffering, people are fighting, people are spending money, people are doing whatever they can to see. If that country called Nigeria is something good will come out of it, and you're talking about you're here, you're, why do you need to give us all your credentials if you know you are not going to say anything very smart? You know, I said something before. I said, when I come into a place or when I 
I'm, I talk with somebody or relate to someone, and the person tells me, oh, you're Igbo. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't notice that much. You know, you're different from all of I say, stop it. You know, some people, some people see it as compliments. Somebody like you, I'm sure, will see it as compliments. Yeah. You are that very different Igbo man. Mm -hmm. You are that Igbo man with a difference. You're not like the other Igbos, you know, all those Igbos. And then you smile and your small ego is stroked and you feel like you're, you know, to me, it's an insult because I am 110% Igbo. Every Igbo you see moving around, I am, I am just like each and every one of them. Absolutely. And if you think that I have to insult my people, if you think that I have to, you know, detach myself from reality, from my people, if you think that I have to stand on top of my people in order to make you feel good about yourself, in order to make you feel comfortable to be around me, then sorry, go and hug a transformer. So, but just like I said, I like to give people benefit of the doubts. So just in case you don't understand or you, you are not re really up to par with what is happening in Nigeria. Can happen in Nigeria. Nali go by, especially Nali go by. Oro ne maho di ogwa na kwa ike si ego si anya. Oro ne maho in Hindi bo na aho na ano no boda ha na kwa Nigeria. If you want to learn, there are people who can, you know, educate you know, you. teach yeah. you. There are of people course. who can educate you. Yes. You go and submit yourself and learn. Then you come out, when you talk, you talk like somebody who is informed. Okay, thank you very much, my sister. That's exactly my thought. That's what you have expressed. That idiot should stop. He should go out there and make a public apology to his people, to us, because you're insulting us. Onyekebo, who are you? Performer. Yes, yeah, great. It's great to be a performer. But if you don't have that respect. You don't have that love. You don't even know where you're coming from. Beginning, you know, for me, the quarrel with you and your brother for me have been a show, a show thing. Because each time I comment on it on, on Facebook, I, I just smile because the fans are, it, you know, I just felt it was a joke. But this nonsense that you just did just showed us, showed me that it's not a joke. There's something wrong with you. You are not normal. Believe me sincerely. Comparably to what your brother said, I think he said something too. But when you compare the two, he calls himself rude boy, yes. That's a name, that's a show name, but he's not rude. Believe me, he's not. And he is the actual musician, though. Let I tell you the truth. <laughs> Let us tell ourselves the truth. <laughs> you know, it's okay to dance and be able to do shows, but we watch. Those who live in glass houses don't throw stones. That's my own point. You're trying to build up a fans and look at you now. You're running, you're you're dividing yourself already. You have money that doesn't finish. It's okay. That's good. Good luck to you, my brother. Good luck. It's beautiful to have it. To be very, very proud of it, but do not castigate your own people. You speak outside very fluently. It's a pride. Something I have to clap. Give you kudos. You married a Yoruba woman. Congratulations. You're the first that has ever married a Yoruba woman. You, you belittle yourself. You bring yourself down. When people talk, you think people are talking against you. Look at where you started. Small thing, you know, but if you're like this, you, you, you portray yourself. They, they might say this is publicity or whatever. The publicity, okay? it is not publicity, it's a serious thing. Those who live in glass houses don't do what they don't throw stones. You don't bring yourself out. You're supposed to be somebody who has a lot of fans, a lot of followers. When you start talking like this, and it's so annoying because when you're talking about the house, man, how many, how many you started your shoe business in the north? Yeah, right, story. <laughs> my brother let me tell you something we were performing artists too we were traveling places i know that anytime i go to the north to perform 99.8 percent of the people coming to our shows there are not the other the Igbo people are there the biafrans oh yes we used to go from george to gaza to zanra to yola to perform when you look at it the community there are the people from the south not the house man. The house man, okay. That's all. It's not. 
that Malaya just doesn't even get uh, enough audience from his own people. <laughs> the people that go to Damalaya just are just people that so don't go there and tell us about the north you perform you started a career and they're not so big deal big deal fat deal by calling we will respect yourself go out there and apologize to your people and uh, do something that that is that is sensible stop making a fool of yourself let us go back to politics now and talk a little bit about uh, what these people are saying there's something that I saw here yesterday uh, Abaribe is saying something in the house and nobody's clapping and then the man in the north, <laughs> the people that created the problem, they are talking, he's now telling us the reason why uh, the, uh, what they call them, Fulani headsmen should have AK-47, carrying it about with them. This is supposed to be one country, isn't it? Let's listen to this video a little bit. Because uh, I saw this here, this morning and uh, let's see. Amen. I want you to take Our brother time. here is actually doing a very good job, so I need to. I need you to uh, he, he says his name is what Action is Director. That's what he calls then himself. Then you listen to what I'm going to say about it at the end of the video. Yes, go Thank ahead. Thank you very much. Ordinarily, I didn't want to say anything until I heard certain things on this floor, and I felt that we needed to clear that. That's our body be talking. I'm an Igbo man, and our people say that the, when the traditional healer is making medicine for the eye, that you shouldn't find pepper nearby. Because any pepper that goes into the eye means that that medicine will not work. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I want to talk specifically on the matter of whether people were being sent away. No Nigerian is being sent away from anywhere. Criminals are being sent away from the forest That's right. where they are. And so, when we now come here and say, uh, some people, after doing this thing and they're sending people away, you send the wrong message out. The message is simple. The police, IG, has told us these are criminal elements coming from outside Nigeria. And what we should ask ourselves is, if somebody is a criminal, and he is in the forest. What is he doing inside there? And we want to paper over matters of this nature to please whatever. What we want to say is simple. We either want to solve this problem, and in order to solve the problem, the desideratum is that all criminal elements that are coming into this country from wherever they are must be flushed out. Simply sit up. You have seen what our colleagues in the southwest are doing. Yeah, listen to this. And one. some of them from the southeast. Some of us told them with all modesty and humility, you are wrong. But the person that is most wrong is the governor of Benway State. My brother and my colleague, Governor Otto. He started all this. If you don't accommodate other tribes, we are also accommodating your tribes in Bauchi and other places. We have so many chief people working in farming in Alkaleri, farming in Tafawakalewa, farming in Bogoro. Has anybody told them to go? We have not, because they are on in a lineable right to be there. We have Yoruba, Yoruba people in Bauchi for over 150 years. And now because a Polar man is practicing the tradition of, of living in the bush <laughs> pastoralism mm. he has been exposed to the vagaries of the forest the animals and now the cattle rustlers who carry guns kill him and take away his commonwealth that is the cows nobody owns any forest the forest is owned by nigeria under section 23 24 25 of the constitution Every Nigerian is free to stay anywhere. Now listen to that. <laughs> they clap for him. Let's let's listen to our brother anyway who analyzed it very well. You see these two two videos now. 
the same topic, two different opinions. There are more, but I just want to show you these two for you to see how divided we are in Nigeria. Yep. And they're just playing with you because they know they can never agree. The only disagree to agree in some issues that will benefit all of them. But when it comes to serious issues like this, you will see the division, big one. And you know who take the lead? You see how they're clapping for this this malam there. Yeah. You see how they're clapping. Everybody would when the other when Abariba was talking, nobody was what nobody talked, and they know is the truth he's talking. But this one is just you know they're just cheering him up. Can you understand now? This is how they have been deceiving you. This is how they have been deceiving you. That brings me to the point of the the, 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 the killings in Undo, the reprisal, they call it the reprisal attack. They even killed two Amotekin, Amotekin, Amotekin guys, you know, and they killed about, they reported six people, but I know, we know that there are more, but those close to there in Undo must tell us what happened. I'm waiting for my Egun to talk, because they are going to go to the facts find them, find out what exactly happened. And in that, in that note, I will say to my Odudua brothers, you, you better wake up now and do the needful. Because if you don't do, if you keep quiet, they will come more. If you, if you do something, they will come. So the best thing for you to come, push hard. Do not relent. Push these people away. Chase them away. Do not listen to your politicians. You know? Chase them away from your forest. And today that takes place today 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 is the date and uh, the whenever is coming in the uh, zoom meeting is a fundraising hosted with a special guest of honor will be our leader Mazen Namdekano. Uh, let me give you the ID number for the zoom is 890-8782-2644. I repeat. The ID number is 890-8782-2644. And the passcode is 349-064. 349-064. It's taking place today. The time exactly will be, uh, let's see, um, Let's see. Okay. Okay. The Eastern Time, 7 p.m. It says they are 7 p. 0700 p.m. Eastern Time. That is United States and Canada. 7 p.m. tonight. We'll be at the meeting. We'll make sure that you tune in. I've already given you the the passcode and the the ID. The passcode is uh, 349064. And make sure that you tune in. Stay there with us. Uh, we will all be there try as much as we can to come in it's fundraising our leader will also be there I'll take a very short break and I'll this is Radio Biafra USA 2 my name is Maziak Peters the line is open for you to for our conversation today it is plus one six four six nine two zero four five four one five seven zero three five two eight four four two plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three all right, when the line is open, I want you all to make sure that please you buy by the rules. The rules that uh, I'm not going to take your call for more than three minutes. Just say, go straight to the point and tell us what you want to say. And when you say it, that will be nice so that other people will be able to come in also and air their view. If you sit down there and don't want to talk and keep saying, I keep saying thank you, thank you. I will cut you off and I don't feel you feel, if you feel bad if I do that. Because I warn you, when as soon as I say it's, uh, thank you, thank you means you've spoken enough and uh, you should go and let other people come in. I have a call coming in here on Signal as my first call this morning. Let me see if I can pick up this one. If it's con Call on Signal, are you there? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Yes, sir. I'll be like, uh, thank God, uh, this line has uh, been open today. Yeah. I've been calling it since. I've been calling it since. It's not getting through. Sometimes all the ring, you'll be ringing. And then you'll be complaining that you are not seeing it pick up. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, but glory be to God, no doubt. There was. Ah, no, there was. Ah, no, two and one. In Malaysia, but one them mad. Ah, no, I just listened to uh, yeah, this clip you played regarding to uh, P Square, or is it Pitoko or what? Is uh, that guy you're talking about? Yes. You know. <laughs> You know, or Mamma Dapata, somebody put up, if somebody come out like this, he get he get get up and everybody as human beings. But all when you put as they make a comment, the game run your woman, no, you know, woman. Yes. Give my mama when they will complete our normal. They will complete, they, they behave for Kanama. Because most of our people also have thrown a note or armor on a note. I'm asking, it's only 1% of them who they will mad in the reason you can't mad. The rest of them, they, they behave like an animal, they behave like a nama. Full of cows. Okay, yeah, he was born on the north and he grew up in the north and all those things. I just want to tell him, let him, he has the good north, let him go back to the north now, or Kanu or Sokoto to go and play those his reggae music there and see what uh, his papa theater. Then he yeah, was him, uh, he, he, I think in one piece, let him go to Kanu or Kaduna or Sokoto to perform as, as those rat that he used to perform, all those music. Let him go and perform it in Sokoto and then wait for his back. And then he's by Gwazi that uh, is against the is, is haram. That is music is haram. I think in one piece, all these fools uh, because um, when they go now, uh, reason with his arms, uh, neglecting his own people. And uh, but I don't know, God will punish all of them. Uh, and secondly, the Africans, I just want to let our people know that they, they should not forget about our leader's prophecy. He told us, even before the eyes of the world, that. These people will come. That he knows them very well. It's just a matter of when. They will come. Yes. Because they behave like animals. They will come. He said, when he was saying that, not just for saying, it's a prophecy. He's just giving you prophecy. As, as, as God directed him to say it, and he was saying it, that they will come. So it wasn't to surprise that they are now coming. Yes. No, don't know, despite the fact that, that they, they now want to fly in the air. You understand it to make Thank a difference you. because there's no way on the ground. So can I see any Lubias here? They will. And I, 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 yes, we are, want to let them know that. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. So our people should be steadfast and They will. Thank no you, what, Elohim is to control. And lastly, yeah, all these all these emirs, all these emirs, the core governors in our, in our all these emirs and alamajiri politicians and all of them, Ogerugo, Ogerugo, Agedie, Zindo, Zisapo, Hanabai, because these are full and agent they were, and they representative. Were. I could do the regate. They, they will thank you. They were. All right, thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls. I go to uh, WhatsApp. Uh, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Three minutes for the calls today. Go ahead, sir. Are you there? Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Good, good afternoon. Okay. I'm Thank you from the zoo. Yeah, welcome to the program. My name is Kele Chimaze. Thank you for your program. There we go. Um, Mazi, my little contribution this afternoon, I've listened to all the clips that you played, you know. Our, let me start from our own brother. Uh, in Abaribe. Abaribe is, has been uh, sings. Yeah, in fact, is the only man we have in the Senate. Yes, it is, and that is why people say that in the Senate is Abaribe and the others. He shall be well with him and the, his family. Yes. You know the way we bless our people. So we curse those who deserve to be cursed. Yes. Like that a flavor that you first play and uh, they talk about uh, call himself Peter Okori. Mas do you see the reason why Bible see God said to Abraham, Don't give your daughter to these people and don't marry from them. Yeah. This is the reason. You know, sometimes some people want to be holy than God. They want to be righteous than God. This is the reason why God told the children of Israel, don't marry outside your tribe. You see, what that idiot that has been fighting with his twin brother for more than five years now and cannot find a, 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 a ground to settle with his own brother is telling us to live in peace with the, with the, with the killers. Yeah. 
that came all the way from Sahara Desert to come and kill us, telling us that it's good in the north and they were married a Yoruba person. Now, now me send a message. Yeah, that is why, Mazi, to be honest with you, sometimes when I talk, people will say, ah, you are a pastor. Did you not have Yoruba people in your church, Mazi? I have Yoruba people in my ministry. But if you are a Biafra and you marry a Yoruba person, I don't respect you. I don't need to apologize. I don't need it. In fact, I have seen some Biafrans that came in my ministry that I want to marry Yoruba person like that. Don't marry. You're bad. What noises? Have you? There are women all over the place in Biafra land. Are you going to go and marry Yoruba tomorrow? You can marry Yoruba when Biafra is gone. When we when we have our own state, then you can marry anybody you want to marry. Look at what that slave is saying. You can marry Yoruba when Biafra is gone. When we when we have our own state, then you can marry anybody you want to marry. Look at what that slave is saying. That are raping women in this side forest. They are our people who have been in the north. Have you heard that we go to another man's land and cause problem there? Why is he talking? Why is he not talk, telling his people the full and needs to look for peace? And he's bringing it to he shall not be well with him. Though his life was already having problem, and so he will continue with different problem on the end of his life. See, man, see, these people. These people that call themselves because of one thing or the other, they are benefiting from Nigeria. That is why they come out to make some talk, some rubbish. Okay, look at the Lagos, as I'm talking to you now, the whole of Yoruba land have been taken over by you, Fulani people. They are everywhere. In fact, Mazi, I don't think Yoruba can come out of this because they don't have, they don't have the liver they to mean. face these people. Yeah, no. They don't, they, for them to come out of this mass, he need a, he need a thousands of angels from heaven to come and help them. Because we are talking about uh, the kind of leadership we have in, in politician in Alibu. Yoruba own is the worst. Forget about what you are seeing on the surface. These people, you are, fully have taken over the West. I, I live here now and I go to their villages and go to program. Almost all the states within the West here. I know what is happening here. Forget what people are covering up. Fulani has taken over everywhere in Yoruba land and they, they are drawn. Don't forget what the area boys are going to come to the city harassing bus drivers and collecting money. Those boys have no liver to face the Fulanis. Fulanis yeah. are taking over Yoruba land. And they, it takes a thousands of angels from heaven to come down and deliver them. And that is what Okori, what a, 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 no wonder his name is Okori. Peter <laughs> Okori is telling us. Okoye, Okoye, please. Okay, that is why he's telling us to, to, we should allow our, our land to be invaded the way you Fulani have invaded uh, 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 Yoruba land. When last that, that did you to travel to the village and spend one week? Thank you. When last Let's did go. he travel? I don't know. Thank God you. bless you. There you go. Thank you so much. All right. You know, as you know, Patan Kwahu, Ngole Megina, Abiyari Obia. So he is, he is, he doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. I don't know where his brain is gone. And uh, like my sister who said, he said maybe it's just a publicity stunt. It's not publicity stunt because you see, you're creating more enemies for yourself. A fan, somebody who's in music and entertainment, you gotta be very careful what you say. You gotta be very, very careful because you are followers. Don't dabble into something you will not that you will not be able to come out of. Honestly, it will target. Like I said before, I have said it on this program before. I have a very dear friend uh, back home in, in Biafra land. Uh, he's a very, very good politician. He was in politics, and we we still remain friends because we we were mates actually. So our friendship didn't start in his being in politics. When IPOB, I joined IPOB, he was he called me and said, "What are you doing? Are you out of your mind?" And I said to him, "I know how you feel, but you know something. We were in the war together, and this one is different. What I'm seeing now is not what we saw, because we were, like I said, we're colleagues. We were, we were actually he was basically my boss in the army towards the end of the war, and and I I, I gave him a message. I said, you know something." I know who you are. I know the way you think. I know the way you talk. Please, if they bring the microphone to your mouth, shift. Don't say anything to anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to the press. Nothing. Just stay neutral. Because one single thing that you say, that like you're like, when you say something, people are going to come in and, and misinterpret what you have said, and then you will start defending yourself in the end. They're making reference to this so-called Peter, Peter Okoye, you know, he, is, he has a lot of people, a lot of followers. He's, a, he's an artist that performs, and people are following him and he's talking. He has to be very careful what he says. 
because it's going to haunt him forever and ever. Let me take a call that is coming in on the private line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Marzi Iperas. Good afternoon from here. Welcome to the program. I hope I'm coming at you. Thank yeah, you, you are. Much. Thank you very much. You are, sir. Uh, I just, Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you very much. I just want to use this opportunity to greet dear friends all over the world, friends of Biafra, lovers of freedom. I salute you. Our leader, Marzi Nandekano, I salute you. Good afternoon from here. I remain Rabbi Charles, speaking from my location. Marzi Iperas, to, con to contribute or oh, to add on to what you are saying, you know, what uh, is trending, they, I, they, this man, uh, Peter Okoye, right? Yes. He, you rightly said he's, he's a musician, and uh, I think he said he was born in the northern part of the zoo. Okay, you know that, and I'm not discrediting anybody, but some of the people that were or raised, got raised up, they have a different kind of mentality. And uh, so you, you rightly said as well that as an entertainer, you move around, you travel around. Even Seven Seven Okonkwasa traveled around he, in his music. He said he went to Nasarawa. At that, that time, I didn't, we didn't know, he even know where Nasarawa, Nasarawa is. He went to Nasarawa, he went to Birinin Kebi, went to Yo Ankalaba. In his music, he says, he says so. So if you go there and tour around, that doesn't, if, they may receive you. The people you're going to see there are your people. Exactly. You, they Absolutely. went to travel down there. Yeah. You are not entertaining the fuller things. They no. don't come to you. They don't of patronize course. you. Absolutely. You are entertaining your people who yeah. moved out like it's like those of us in diaspora. Yes. If uh, when Oliver the Coke was alive, he was in USA. When I have the clip, when Oliver was performing in USA, which people do you see him people. with dancing and the crowd? His people. Yeah. The same people, the same crowd. Not only people from America. They don't know what he was talking about. But this is it. So you know what? I see I see um Peter Koya as and the uh, and Flavon Nabani as he came and Abel. Nabani sang from his heart. Nabani Flavor sang from his heart. Girlfriends welcomed him. And uh, Ken went and got angry, and the uh, garbage sacrifice, and the one thing to do is, and it wasn't work up. <laughs> I said to go. <laughs> so, so got to go. And additional to what I'm about to say, I want to use this opportunity to talk to uh, Mr. Sunday Iboho. I saw the clip with him and FFK, Femi Fanikayode. If you listen to it, I sent, I think I sent that to you. No, no, I sent the one Ka Kadira, Kadara Ahmed spoke. A warning that he, she gave to Nigerian journalists. I think this lady is listening to our leader. He now, she now said that if care is not taken, the journalists in Nigeria will be blamed for the calamity that is spending. Now, when I look, when you look into FFK and his approach, to uh, Sunday Iboho. I, with due respect, I respect FFK, but when when matter of this come, comes into play, I have a problem. I know what the Fulani told, told the Yorubas to do, to disassociate themselves from their friends. That's what, that's the game. That's the game they're playing now. When Sunday Iboho was being arraigned or, you know, like hailed like a, a superhero, which our leader has been doing that, one million times before this man came. Now he said to him, I, all you are doing is only for Yoruba. He said, only for Yoruba. We want Nigeria to be better. Nigeria cannot be better because the foundation is wrong. These APC people and some of the politicians hear me and hear me out. Yorubas, like Keleshi said, that Yoruba land is totally invaded without knowing. This thing that is about to happen, we consume some of the Yorubas. Only the honest one, only the truth loving Yorubas, we stand strong and we survive this. And it, it will happen when they align with Biafrans under the command of IPOB Mazi Nandekano, our leader. That is how you can get your life back. If you go any other contrary, any other way, Sorry, we be your name, Mazi. I beat us in there. There, well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, the the but the dice cast. What I'm saying is very important. The Iboho Sunday Iboho. Well, the Yorubas are your people. 
if you're fighting and you think you're struggling and you want to depend on them alone you are not going to be able to make it we are not asking anybody to join what we are doing we are only saying anybody that the yoruba should come together and liberate themselves from these people their land is being occupied there is no doubt about it and if you miss let me quote and unquote if you miss this opportunity i don't know if it will ever come back even if it will come not this generation they're not going to say anything better than what is going on now this is your chance these people unfortunately for them <clears throat> Nam Dekanu came into the scene. Their plan is just breached. This will show you. Look at the way they are standing up in your own land to tell you what to do in your own land. According to the man that was speaking with uh, Kunle, he said, "In our land, in our land now, Yoruba land is now becoming full and land. If you don't take your time, this will take a lot. Very, very. I don't know. I don't know what, how the end might come in. But for all you politicians in the Yoruba land." Think, Yoruba Ronu. That's the that is song that Ogunde Ogunde did. All right, I have a call coming in. Call her on uh, uh, call her on WhatsApp. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon from here, Mazabidas. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank you, Mazabidas. Uh, my name is Chukwu Mekaroma. I'm calling from Italy. Uh, Mazi, I don't have much to say. I just want to say thank our leader, Mazumdan Dekan, wherever he is. Elohim will continue to guide him. He's a, he's a good man. I want to be honest with you. Our leader is a good man. People who are just talking rubbish because um, he's a good man. If I command this army that our leader commands, if I command this army by seeing the only ESM, with how they are equipped, just seeing them alone. Even I just have almost 20 of them. None of these governors would live a life today from the East. I want to be honest with you. None of them. I would decimate all of them. Even only, I only tell, I have 100 of them, 100 men armed. These governors, I command 100 men armed. These governors, if I don't get them, I'll get their families. If I don't get them, I'll get, if I don't, if I go to the house, I know me town, I will burn his house and make sure that I dismiss them. He's a good man. These people conspired to kill his mother, the father, their sister, and 28 men in the compound. And he had this, he had this man, and he forgave them. And he's still looking at them. He's a good man. He have a, I don't know where he get the heart to bear all these things. The heat. I don't know where I can't even endure what what I can't what I will endure. I can't endure it in my life. I will choose to die, but all of them will die. That is what I could have do. But Elohim give him the strength to have the endurance to endure everything that is coming out, even that was stupidity and everything. It didn't. It's not easy. I mean, I, I, I caught that when I go around and preach to people, I see what the way they react. They, some some useless idiot the way they speak. I got angry. Think when you come to my house to kill my mother, kill my father, because you want your political power, where you put you, you can never see in your life. These governors, none of them is uh, educated like Zeke, none of them is educated like LS Equipment, none of them is educated like El Kadibu, Chibu El Kadibu. All these people are the prominent men from the East that wanted to be a president of Nigeria. They, they never smell it. They think of Rocha Sokracha, who puts on them, who didn't even finish it, go to university. I think uh, uh, it's uh, this man from uh, Dan Ete that makes him who he is. These are the people you think that will, will give God a presidency, and because of it, they come and destroy people in our East. Our leader, may Elohim continue to guide and protect you, as he has been doing for you. And uh, you pray for us, we pray for you. May Chukwu Kikabi guide and protect you. Thank you very much, Mazakida. What's up, brother? Uh, about Gunde telling you to think, Yoruba Runu, think, 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 use your mind. This is the time for you guys to wake up and rise up and make sure that you defend your land. Do not sit down there and fold your hands. Sunday, Boho should be supported in what he is doing. He needs you to support him no matter what you do. Stop being politically correct and stupid about this whole thing because it's not going to help you and lead you anywhere. I have a call coming in on straight line. Call her. Yeah, good morning. Good afternoon, Tell us your name and where you're calling from. My name is Mazi Chine Mere I have from Abadjai. I'm going to look at the government. I'm going to look at the government. Mazi, I listened to the clip that you played. 
and they want to call himself a Peter Okoye by this guy. That guy is a vagabond. He don't know his roots. That guy is a vagabond. He's, he, he's, he's, that guy just call himself Peter Okoye, talking about peace. What do you do to understand peace? How come somebody that say he's a... That, that's why Nigeria say I die. Nigeria musicians are a bunch of idiots. Look at somebody say he's a uh, Peter Okoye. He's an evil man. Your country, your nation is trying to survive. You are just telling us that you, you were born in your house and you grew up school in your and the mother the Yoruba woman. What does that one mean to, to us, to our struggle? That guy is a vagabond. That boy, that guy, that, that little rat called Peter Okoye by this guy is a vagabond. Those, those vagabonds that born here and suddenly Ibo, Ibo, Ibo name. There are the problems we have here. Illiterate like him. A man who doesn't know his identity. Pete Okoye, you don't know your identity. You are a vagabond. You are a vagabond. You don't know your father. Mazi, don't mind all this, all this rubbish guys called them artists in, 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 in Ibo land. People who don't know their, 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 their identity. Mazi, nobody will stop here. Our restoration of Defra. Defra is already here. For what they are doing in Olo, Olo people, Defra land, don't panic. Nobody can win war in air. As much as you said it, no country, no nation can win war on air. It's the land. That's the helicopter they are flying in your area. It's to intimidate people, exactly. to create fear in people. But I promise them, in the due time, Mazi, Mazi, Kankoya, Nibo, Mazi, Manoke, Bo, Nibay, Nabugo, Kim, I will go now, as I go to go now. I now go to go, Ugo, Nana, okay, Bo, that helicopter has taken care of that one. Nandira Army, Nandira, Nandira Terrorist Army, bring the greater one, Nandira Terrorist Army, Nandira Islamic Nieti Allah. I mean, bring, bring the greater one that you think that is part of the world you are not. The war has begun, and Nigeria has already declared the war. Thank you. And the, whether your robots like it, let them wake up. Some people, I, I don't think that that guy can do that because I don't think that that guy is a well educated like our leader. Your robots may not succeed it because they don't have ground. Because uh, the, uh, this man, uh, 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 the, the leader of media will say, why Yoruba is talking now? Because now they can't buy them. They know Yoruba. I think that Yoruba will succeed that. We succeed this. But see Yoruba. When Yoruba miss this opportunity, they have gone and gone forever. And at the end, their farm was restored. Then Yoruba will suffer. Thank you. And suffer. Very and well. suffer. And suffer until the end of the world. Marzi, God bless you. God bless you. We are not afraid of this backup in the uniform. I mean, it's not khaki. I mean, it's not uniform. Don't afraid them. Marzi, God bless you. There we go. All right. Uh, we have a call coming in on um, straight line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. I'm Marzi Aikwilas. Good morning, sir, from here. Welcome to the uh, program. My name is Marzi Rebecca. I'm calling from the police, USA. Marzi, uh, my contribution this morning is... Uh, Regarding the clip, you please. Sometimes I ask myself, is it only our brother Abalibe is in the house? How does he know a full of food in the house there? Do they not know their job or just, just to be taking 35 million every month, every month without doing anything? And I guess this is our brother Peter Okoye. I'm not surprised because I know I grew up in Europe. For Europe people to like you, you have to castigate your people and become stupid to please them and become stupid. Do stupid to your own people. Many of our people that were born in Europe, even those in America, yeah, they will change, change all their name, the European name, to English and to please their their slave master. But Doctor Konzi Wala, all the children, they saw the Nava, all of them answer their own evil name. They're not even good of them. They're not that Konzi Wala children, okay? Because they want to be one of be to please Europe people. And let me tell that bit of okay. When I'm in Nigeria, I have a friends that do marketer in the Nadezikwe street in the Dumont area. Man, I can boldly tell you, both of these the video music, 
For any music, nobody consume that ebos. Of course. All these are the video. All these you buy the video and all of them, flavor all of them. But if it's square, highest people that listen to that buy their market are all ebos. Yeah. I have the people, I have a friend, big marketer. Okay? I'm not my center from my home hometown. One of the highest pro 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 producer, chief producer. The highest people that consume are all ebos. And yeah, this was even though we are how many music you outside by? I mean, music you're back and forth. <laughs> eh? They don't know. I mean, the time the FFK to meet his son, he go, me from the one, I never trust all those people. The person I trust in this you know, dual movement is this young guy in England. They call Allah Omi, Allah Omi, he go, he That young man will be forming the brief universe that give that young man support. Okay? This FFK, from the one, I never trust that man because I know the history. Of the father in your life, the people will not even, not even like it. Okay, so this is what I need to contribute this morning. Thank, thank you me. very much. All right, thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls. I have a call coming in on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, uh, shalom. I'm as I pick us. Welcome to Good the program. There we Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's me, Chine Meremu. Uh, I hear from uh, Enugu in Biafra land, Osuka province. I, uh, I call from uh, Ghana. Uh, I, first of all, I will uh, thank you for the time, the, the three minutes uh, given to call us to contribute. It's very nice uh, idea. So, uh, two things I want to contribute on it. Uh, that of um, uh, Peter Okoye or whatever we call himself. Uh, coming out to talk rubbish on their friends. Uh, I, I will not blame him because uh, he, he was born and brought up in a, in a, in a full and land, and he, he, can, he, he should behave like a like a cow. So uh, who made him? Who, uh, 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 which people made him whom he is now? Is he not? Uh, is he not uh, 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 So, but we will not go there. Uh, the same thing to what. Uh, 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 Chimamanda uh, 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 talked one day, but we uh, we we also told, told him told her that he's going to he's going to a, a wrong a wrong a wrong way, and he withdraw. Peter Koch should withdraw himself from this rubbish, no matter what he, he, he feel that he he is, or whoever whatever he is, and if he, he, he don't have name, he's a useless person. So he should he should be very very careful. And uh, that of uh, Abaribe in the house. Abaribe is the only man in the in the in the resuscitation that we we have. We Biafrans have. Uh, imagine the time he talk, he talk, uh, and we have we have the, he has his own co uh, senators from our side, and even Yoruba because he made that he made that uh, that speech there because of most what is happening in in Yoruba land and the Biafra land. By filling the people, but after talking that no, none of none of all those his colleagues from Yoruba and Biafra land tried to try to cheer up what he said. But imagine what a, how what a, a, that filling man a, come out and talk that every forest belongs to to to, to zoo. that is that is that is all, all, all they are planning to all they are planning to to seize to take away our central land from us. But it can never work. We really thank uh, ESN. And our leader Mazen and the Kanu for for their effort for the for the for the strength Elohim is giving to them. Yes. We really thank uh, all their friends thank for their supporters. Yeah. All help Biafra. Shalom. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom, my brother. All right, thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls. Let's see six four six nine two zero four five four one. Five seven zero three five two eight four four two plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. I have a call coming in on straight line. Call her good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes. My is Peter. Can you hear me? Good morning. Welcome to the program. Okay, my is Peter. Three minutes, Roma. You go there. They are trying to all over the world. You don't keep going to carry them. And now you keep going to go. They are in the middle of the world. They are not the kind of the city. They are the. Oh, we are going to go. But I hate to be in the beginning of your time, or what? That is, she called it. 
Every man and be with the most wicked and the most dangerous human race. Every day, no one. Imagine this all for all I. I know hundred people in Nigeria and I alive. I know kill them right now. Passing six, passing six, six, passing ten. All of you in Ezai, if Phil and me take this land, we are gone. They are all destined as wanderers on this planet Earth. We will transfer to all the people. Come and get your money, go. Dara, <laughs> I'm telling you, you said this government, you don't know what is coming to you. That is coming, Dara. Your friend, that's it. Now, as I said, I tell you, when you were, your friend, just, when you have this, then, then, you have to go to Kaki, I'm going to put him to you. Then, then, this is your hotel, 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 from verse 1 to end, you see verse 15 to verse 18 and verse 33. Oh no, oh no, good time, Alaya. Oh no, but you can't wait to get up. Because you look at them, you are born, you are. But you look at them, you are born of death. Because you will be, you will be up for a land. Go like, come on, 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 According to verse 1 to 5 and verse 17 to, 7, to 18, all of them are going to go to the house. They 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 are going to go to Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well. yeah, well. Yeah, well. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I have, a, I have another call coming in on straight line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Chijoke. Night, pretty boy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't In fact, um, uh, my brother that I just spoke now, in fact, God will keep us. Um, I uh, when we have a beer fry, you're going to be one of the entertainers. In fact, uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, I really sometimes I enjoy that isn't it? Um, the way he talks. Um, what I want to say is um, actually let us not be distracted. Um, people and their tactics are not different. You see, Yorubas, um, they are doing theirs, we are doing ours. We yes. want to achieve the same goal. And exactly. many of the Yoruba brothers are really with us. Um, yes, we are all human beings, but we don't have the same way. They also have their own way with their approaching it. Let us not really take them down fully. The same way we have a flavor, it's just their own is that uh, they have sold themselves out. I mean, their politicians have sold themselves out to uh, the the Fulanis. But our own, we also sold, our politicians also sold us out. But they got God brought Mazin and the Kalo. Any line I call all these things we are saying because this man came from nowhere. 
yeah. to say no. If not, or is the same thing? Next year, Atiku and the Pito will be the other year, uh, this one and this one. That's what we'll be saying. So let us all continue to pray and support ESN. That is the most important thing now. What uh, P Square uh, Peter said is quite disappointing. I know he's regretting it because he has really made him made himself a fool. Yeah. Um, let us not continue to dwell on that. Rather. The support for ESN is the most important thing now. Yes. Because I called one of our brothers yesterday in Abuja. I said, what are you doing? Look at what is happening. He said, is it, has it started? He said, look at you. You see, these Fulanese, anywhere you see them, they have their own small radio. Information is power. Yeah. But our people, we don't, we spend time in frivolity. We spend time in, okay, which uh, this one, uh, forget entertainment, forget all those celebrations that are not, they are, they, they are not relevant for now. Be, just be close to your data, be close to your phone, be close to your radio, get information and supply information. That's what we need. And assist ESN, no matter how, how much you have. That's what my I want to contribute now. So that when this war is, we know that we are already victorious because they have already, in fact, what is happening in the zoo now, they, they just want to test our resolve and they have seen it. Yes. They have seen it. It's just that even even uh, one, one, one of my intels called me today that one of the evil politicians in the name of uh, Rogers said that he is surprised of what he's saying. Yes. Let me keep it there. I'm still moving on. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, let's let's take another call on um, caller on straight line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good afternoon from here. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Mark. Um My name is Marabuchi Shedrak, and I'm calling you right now from Mbo. There you Thank you, my brother. Um, actually, I, I just want to say one or two things on the issue of uh, what more Abalibe said at the floor of the Senate. You know, uh, 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 there is something that I picked out from Abalibe. Abalibe was making his statement and he was making points. Number one, he said that uh, the Inspector of Police have made it clear that those criminal elements are coming from other countries that are falling out. Yeah. And apparently was trying to say that since they are foreigners, why are we hovering them in our forest? Exactly. That we don't have to keep these people who are criminals and they are criminals so and they are foreigners, not even Nigerians, that they shouldn't be in our forest. And nobody said anything about nobody even class. And the other guy came Okay, he wasn't making any point at all. Not even that he was countering what Abalibe said. Because if he was countering, he could have said that, no, those people are not foreign at all. It, that, that, it, will be, it will be a different case. Yes. He started dancing around, trying to tell us that people are living in Bauchi. He wasn't making any point. And at the end of the day, they were clapping for him. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> this you guy, mean? after dancing and dancing and dancing, without any point, they were clapping for him. And now, that brings me to those who are talking on YouTube, the first platform, telling saying that uh, that now the camera don't know how to do it. That we have to go politically. We have to, you know, ally with the political elite. Let's, let's, let me, so, let me, let me, let me, let me, inter let me interject. I, I, I carry very objective. Don't bring anything from there to my radio station, please. We are, we oh, are, we right, are right. radio station. So whatever they say there, let it stay there with them. I don't want anybody going there to listen and then coming into push the load on me. I'm not interested in whatever they say. I don't listen to the radio. I don't want to hear it. I have my own audience that I speak to. You don't go and look to the radio where 10 people are listening and then you bring it into 70 million people. That's that's ridiculous. You don't do that. It's no use. Whatever they want to say in their platform, let them say it. Thank you very much. Go ahead, sir. All right, all right, Mark. Thank you very much. So, it is clear now that, uh, you know, it, when, when, when everybody that finished speaking, Everybody was, everywhere was very quiet. Now, when this guy, you know, 
after you know garbage in our he is things he has said people stop shouting and jumping that tells you all you need to know that there is no way there is no way in nigeria politics well especially in that senate and half of rep member anybody who is saying the truth is going to succeed there is no way you are going to succeed are they not aware that these people are killing themselves? I was, I was, I was, I was, I was shocked that even this guy who was making that statement at four minutes cannot even tell us why these people are killing people. Why these people are killing people, and he wants us to harbor them. And what is going on in all now is clear evidence beyond every reasonable doubt to prove to anybody, everybody, that it was Nigerian government who are sponsoring this planning. Because what we are saying that is that we want to protect our land against the Fulani headsmen. Now, you want to chase us out of our land in order to bring Fulani inside. And it's not going to work. So I want to, I want to tell all Biafra, it is high time all of us, those in Biafra land, I've said this thing before. If you, if you can be contributing to 200 Naira a day, at least in a month, it's about 3,000 Naira. You will use it to support this ESN. That is the only thing we can do. In order to free ourselves from this mess. Thank, Thank you, you Mazan. God bless you. They will. They will. Thank you so much. All right. This is Radio Biafra, USA 2. We're still taking calls here at 646-920-4541-5703528442. Don't forget, we have today, we are holding a very special Zoom meeting today by the women, the IPOB women in the United States. They are hosting our leader on a special fundraising that is coming in by 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be there. We'll make sure that we come in there. And uh, don't forget, it is a very, very important thing. Like my brother just said, contribution, you know, fundraising, it's good. But you know something? Make it a monthly thing. Every month you have to pay in. If you want to pay in one year, say, just say to yourself, well, I'm going to give $100 or $50 or $60, uh, you know, to for, to support these people and making my one-year payment. That's good. Six months payment. That's good. And uh, that's a lot better. And uh, we take it from there. That's the important thing is our ESN, they need to be supported and we support them by all means. All right. I have a call coming in on uh, WhatsApp. Hello. Yes. Carla, good morning. Yeah, Mark. Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon. Welcome to the program. Yeah, um, Mas, uh, I'm very, very happy this afternoon for the job you are doing for uh, the IPV all over the world. I say, Mexico, come and bless you and your family in Jesus' name. You yes, say? Yeah, uh, my name is Paul, calling from uh, Libreville, Gabon, Mas. So, what I want to say this afternoon is concerning what is happening in Olo. Uh, what uh, the, uh, the zoo janja we are doing in Olo is very, very bad. Is to our Bia people, our uh, Biafrans all over the world must understand that uh, the zoo janja we government is the one who is doing mayhem. Even this Boko Haram people are talking about. Uh, all those who bandits they are calling them is they, they are the ones sponsoring these people. Because you cannot tell me since over the years, these people have been killing people around, all over the world, all around the place. They have never even brought even a, a single person to, uh, to court or arrest him or to jail him. Never. All the all the, all they are saying bandits are doing this, and uh, headsmen are doing this, they, they are killing people just like that. And these people who, who call themselves a ginger we governor in our means are supporting them. I'm telling them to bring the army to kill our people in Biafran land. What I, want, what I want to tell them is that I have been saying it for, a, for many years now. This generation is not the generation of 1960-something. This is generation of Tukwekwe Abiyama. This is the generation that God has made for us to have our freedom. Thank you. There is no man, no Jupiter can stop it. No. So what I'm telling the Yoruba brothers they have to stand up for their the freedom of their uh, of them and their, their children yet unborn. If they if they make mistakes this time around, uh, they are, they are, they are finished because you cannot make peace with your enemy. No how no matter the enemy can, is an enemy. Okay. There is no way you can do peace with enemy. These yeah. people is our enemy. They are coming from uh, uh, Senegal. Uh, Mali, Niger, all over the, the, the West Africa to come and take our land. 
is is this is this type of people who want to make peace with them? Thank you. Sir. There is no way we can make peace with them. They, they, they must go back where they, they are coming from. Uh, 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 we, uh, the 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 Biafra land is our land, is our ancestral land. They cannot take it from us. So anybody who am um, supporting them, we go down. Thank you. You sir. can see what you 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 said uh, a few days ago is to show you that uh, we are hunting them and we must hunt them down. Those are people who are keeping us captive and they, they want to finish everybody. They will. So, Maze, I'm very, very happy for the job you, people, you people have been doing for us. And the Maze, Olila Maze Nandikalo, kudos to you and keep your ball rolling. They will. We are with you. Thank you, Mr. sir. Bless you and your family. Bless Thank you, you Maze. Bless you, too. All right, this is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still taking calls. Uh, let me take this one from uh, private line caller on... Uh, why are you there? Call her, tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Good morning from here. Naka from Germany. Welcome to the program. Uh, thank you, brother. God bless you. Thank you for always being there. Uh, what I want to say is uh, about uh, our people who are always uh, talking about Yorubas uh, must stand up and uh, do this and do that. I, I believe the people are even more <laughs> more focused than than us. I, I, I'm telling you. I, I think uh, they are more focused. I think what we are seeing is on the ground is not, uh, or what we read on on, on on social media is different from what is on the ground. Because what is the most important thing is the leaders. When you listen to how their leaders are talking, you know that these people are there to will defend their people when the time comes. They are there. This morning I was listening to one ex-governor of a Yoruba uh, state on channels. This man spoke like a human being. Although the man is still an active uh, uh, politician, but he defended his people. He defended uh, uh, Sunday Iboho. He defended uh, 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 state governor. He's, he's, he defended his people. That's how uh, leaders talk. And I don't see our 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 leaders, so-called leaders, you know, defending us. Mas I Peter, do you know that why the, the the military is attacking us today is because our governor, the governor, the spring court governor of Imo State allowed them to do that. Do you know why they're attacking ECN? Do you know why IPOB was this you know proscribed because our political stooges allowed it to happen yes so when our people come here and start talking Yorubas must stand up the Yorubas who are who gonna defend their people are not this uh, they are their people they are really people they are they are intellectuals they are their politicians which they are you know firmly you know, against the flanization of of, of 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 Nigeria and Yoruba land, it was Obat and that came last year and told Nigeria that flanization agenda is real. No Ibo, Ibo minister has ever said something like that. Yeah. So this uh, this notion that the Yoruba must come and defend it, they are doing even more than us. Because we need political power to do it. Our people are not doing it for us. We are doing it on our own. Where are Igbo leaders? We are talking about Abaribe. Abaribe is the only person talking. Look at how they are demonizing us. Our own people demonizing us. Without, without them, there is no way army or police could come to Ali and start killing us without their approval. So let us stop this uh, Yoruba. They are working more than more than our people are doing. Look at Kayode uh, visiting uh, Iboho. <coughs> Iboho was, Iboho was, you know, the, the Flanish wanted to arrest him, but the Yoruba said, no, you cannot have, uh, arrest this guy. The Yorubas, you, you, you know, last time, they gave, look at the uh, Ghani, Ghani Adams. They gave him the highest Yoruba traditional, you know, honor. That means an Adam is, is above any arrest in Nigeria. That is how people protect their own. Not this uh, Yoruba. They are doing better than us. And somebody was talking about Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba wife. 
that man, uh, Okoye is just stupid. I have a lot of friends who married Yoruba people who are even pro Biafra more than even uh, a lot of us. It does not matter you marry your boss, but if you are stupid, you are stupid. That's right. Thank you, my brother. You. God bless you. There you Thank you so much. All right, this is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls here at 646 920 plus 1929406953. I still want to remind you that today we're having a a zoom meeting at 7 p.m with our leader being the special guest of honor this meeting is being organized by the women wing of ipob usa they talk, they talk and do they do a lot i'm telling you honestly i'm so proud of them because each time i mean they are launching i feel very elevated i feel that uh, they these are the people that really 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 love our country and they are doing everything to help that's Oh well, why I say good luck, Jonathan. Uh, head of the woman say hey, good luck. Now the head, me now the neck. Anyway, why turn the neck go? Now there the head they go, which is the truth. Women are in charge. They are, and when they do things, they do it very well. Call her on WhatsApp, yeah, please. Good morning. Tell us your name yeah. and where you're calling from. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, Happy Thank you for having me. Yeah, well. Hi, Peters, uh, I just want to appreciate you once again. I know that you give us three, three minutes now to you know spend. It. Anytime we call, okay. Yes, Maz, I want to go straight to the point. Yes. You know, one of her brother called. He said, "Is it only Abaribe is in the house? Is it only Abaribe is, is talking?" I think it's Maz and Mecca. You see, what happened is this. You see, on the basis now, only name when he knew and when he found a wife. Yes. Abaribe is clean and pure. Abaribe is like our leader. If you are true, if you are, if you are honest and you are truth and you are pure, you will not fear anything. You will be doing anything, you will be doing things accordingly. You see, Abaribe is speaking the mind of Biafran, a mind of Igbos. You see, this is what happened last time when they call a summit in Oka. They call summit in Oka. Our able lead, our able man, Abaribe, Senator Abaribe, said something. He said he wants here so that we will talk about this prescribed IPOB. When Abaribe finished this, he handed the microphone over to Ike Kweremadu. What did Ike Kweremadu say? Ike Kweremadu diverted the attention. He knew what Abaribe told him to say. And saying another thing different. He did never say the, the right thing that Abaribe told him to say. And after that, he told Abaribe, Urunanga, Urunanga, Iganga, Iganga, to tell you that his hand is not clean. This man has something. That's why he can never say anything. It's the same thing. You know, these people, they like to intimidate our people. The same thing they do to Devil Umayi. Devil Umayi come up last time to say something. What happened next? They remind him that they're going to prove him for $6.7 billion that he stole it. Their heart is not clean. That's why they're afraid. They can never defend us. We are on our own and we have to defend ourselves. That's what I want to say for this. Now, coming to our brother called... Uh, I will still call him our brother. P Square. Call him say Peter Koye. You see, Maz, I have seen this, I have seen this guy before. If you look at this guy, this guy look like a Alephun Ali man. He just look like Alephun Ali man. He's all talking rubbish. I, I, exactly what our brother said here. You see, our brother uh, Favor has seen his own music and we welcome his music. Now, this is why I want to entertain himself to see if he can make if he can make headway. But he's not going nowhere. This is a man that his brother is not in good time with his brother. He's twin brother. He never in good time with. Now he could tell us how to make peace. This man don't have nothing to offer. Master Peters, thank you and God bless you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank you so much. All right, I have another call coming in on private line. Let me take this one. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Welcome to the program. You're on air. 415, you're on air. Can you hear me? Mazi, can you hear me? Good morning. I can hear you loud and clear. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. Your line is open. Tell us your yeah, name and where name you're is, calling from. Yeah, my name is Chua Kweze. I am calling from the city of Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the program. Mazi, thank you for your time. Thank you for your immense contribution towards the struggle for the liberation of the Africa. I thank our leader and everybody who is fighting assiduously to ensure that we go home. Most especially the people that have laid down their lives for the struggle. Our, our volunteers and ESM, we owe you loyalty. 
because of the parts you are playing in the struggle. But as the two things I want to say this morning, number one is, um, I want to appeal to our people who are coming on the radio and as well those writing on Facebook. This issue of uh, ESN in our law and the uh, Nigeria army who have come to kill us through the land and through the air. We want to present our case in such a way that the whole world will know that Nigeria states, Nigeria terrorist states, is the aggressor. That what we are doing is that we are just trying to defend ourselves and survive so that we don't go into extinction. Because if there is, if there are ways that when we report this thing, it looks as if we are the aggressors. You know, if you look in the zoo, there is no media, there is no media publication that I've seen that have carried the news of what is going on in our loop to show you the extent of conspiracy. The only media outlet that I even saw that is trying to be objective a little bit is Sahara Reporters. So our people, please, let us report our case so that the world will know that they have come, they, they have come to levy war against us and not us who are the aggressors. Finally, Mazi, I believe at this point in time, everybody, especially those in diaspora, who knows what we are going through in this, our struggle. We saw how our leader's last broadcast end ended. It broke my heart too. Because even here where we are, there are a lot of people you tell them about Biafra, you tell them about what our people are going through. They don't care because they feel they have arrived. You know, if you are in diaspora, it doesn't mean that all is well with you. There are people back home that you need to support. And how can you support them? It's by supporting this struggle so that everybody will be liberated, everybody will be free in our land. And if you are in Canada and you don't know how to join IPOB or how to make your contribution in one way or the other, please, I'm going to leave this line on air. Mas, please, if anybody calls you, even when I'm on air or not, you can release this number to them, please, for them to call. The number is plus one. 229-909-4222. I will repeat. The number is plus one, 226, sorry, 909-4222. Plus one, 226, 909-4222. Wherever you are in Canada, even if you are not in Ontario province, I will be able to direct you to your nearest coordinator for you to do your part and if you want to support ESN and you live anywhere around Ontario province please you can do your donation through email transfer or you can also call so that we can direct you on how to do it what we are doing is civic responsibility it is the right of everybody to support this struggle that we are in and if you do it Trust me, you have written your name in the sands of time. Don't care about how it is being done. The objective is to get Biafra. The only thing that we own in this struggle, the only thing that we owe our contribution is our talent, our treasure, and our time. The man who is piloting this ship has the master plan that God has given to him. So whatever you do by your paralysis, by analysis, it is not going to work. It will only be kicking us two steps or three steps backward from where we are. Mazi, I thank you very much, and I encourage Bia France, please, when you want to say anything on radio, please let us try to censor some things that we say. There are too many things that we come on air to say. Let us try to censor some things, because this radio is not just for, for, for Bia France. Some white people are also listening. You saw people that have called our leader. Let us not present ourselves in the, in the, in the bad side. Please let us not present ourselves as the aggressors. Mazi, thank you very much when you speak. You. When you speak wisdom. Yeah, well. When we hear, we will not be only hearers, but also doers of the world from Toronto, Canada. Take it from me. God bless Biafra. God bless you. God bless you too, my brother. This is Radio Biafra USA too. It's making a very important announcement there. And let me add to that www.ipobinusa.org slice donate. If you're living outside the United States, but like anywhere in the world, just go to the website. Type in www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. Your money will go to the right place, I bet you. 
All right, I have a call coming in. Let me take this one. Caller, good morning. Call on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good afternoon to you, Marzi. Hi, Peter. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Greetings to you, fellow dear friends, friends of dear friends and lovers of freedom. The blessing of our Heavenly Father, that lives in the highest heaven will continue to be with us. My name is Hugo, and I am calling from the this afternoon. Here for the truth, and the whole world is watching us and seeing what we are doing. We are demanding for the total freedom of our land. The enemies that is in our land, they want to take over what is not their own, what doesn't belong to them. So anyone that is supporting evil, we are promising you that evil will be your portion. Evil will follow you. The portion I'm coming, the side I'm coming from now is that you see that Mr. Peace. I have never seen him condemn the killings that is going on in our land. I think he comes from this part of the world. Some of us, we are, we are calling him our brother. I can boldly tell you that he doesn't love good things. That is the reason why he refused to join his fellow musician to participate in the, in the end protest that protest that, that, that took place last time. He was nowhere to be found. Those, despite all he continue to push. If you are a young person in this generation and you are seeing evil that is going, how people will rise up and kill his hero? How some people will wake up in the morning and they will visit somebody's house and kill the whole entire family and you are watching in this part of, our, part of the world called Africa. You are watching and what you will do every day is to showcase your, your, your motto, to show your house, to show your, the clothes you wear. You, uh, you don't even have the truth in you. So anyone that is in this generation and you are not condemning this evil that all this new generation is condemning, that these old people is stall, that continue to exist and move like a moving train, you don't condemn it. What you are saying is one nonsense. That is your own. We are telling you that this generation, we won't welcome nonsense. Your brother, your twin's brother, we, we, we even appreciate that one more than because the reason why today you are having problem with him because you don't love good thing. If you are talking nonsense, you you it seems as if you don't see what is going on here. You are in Nigeria. You grow up here. You see everything. Why must somebody go and kill his fellow? Why must somebody take a, another man's land? Why must somebody go from one place to another causing mayhem? Are you not seeing it? You and your wife, you don't condemn it. You want to go and make peace. Did you and are you in trouble with Flanny before? But we, we yeah. last week, that was a strange thing that happened. You must condemn evil. Then if you don't love good thing, condole evil. Evil will visit you. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, we are here to do the right thing. We are saying nobody, nobody will continue to kill us in our land. Nobody will continue to take, a, take our land from us. Nobody will stop our mother, our father, not to go to farm. This is exactly what is happening to us, and you are seeing it, and you claim to be an evil man. If you don't say the truth, we tell you this truth. Mazi. I am not happy when I see these young people who claim that they have a right to refuse to do the right thing. Are you more than those people that participated in the in answer protests? Those popular musicians that come out boldly and condemn evil. Are you more than them? Marzi, thank you so much. All right, thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still almost coming to the end. Maybe I can take just one call before I call it a day. And don't forget, I still have to remind you about the Zoom meeting that is coming in. Please make sure you are there. It's fundraising that we are doing and our leader will be part of it. Organized by the women, the Biafra women in the USA. They are organizing it and anything they organize, believe me, sincerely, their organization is always super. We ex hope to achieve much. They did the first one and they are doing another one today. At 7 p.m. Biafra land. I mean, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern time, 7 p.m. I've already given you the information on Zoom and how it can come in. Let me take this one more call as the very last call for today. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Please make it very brief. Uh, Mazi, good morning. Uh, my program. name is Mazi, my man, Ugo Onyejaka. I am the principal servant of uh, IPOB here in, uh, in uh, Washington, D.C. I'm from Amibo, but Amibo is in the law. Amibo is the home of the Tiger, and Amibo is the home of King Jaja of Popobong. Mother, thank you for all the good job that you do for Biafra. 
Mas, as I was looking at what is going on in Nauru, then you just have a flashback. This is a flashback of what happened between 67 and 70, because the bomb was thrown in the school, the bomb was thrown in the marketplace without minding, the bomb was even thrown in the hospital where people who are sick were dying. The bomb was thrown in the refugee camp. They didn't even care. But anything that is movable, they were bombed. So this is a reflection just to tell the people, the Biafran people, what can you do? We are reminding you of what we did to you in the past. And of which five million, more than five million children and men and women were killed. And nobody have asked any questions since then up to today, Mazi. So it pains my heart how anybody who, even if you didn't witness what happened, but you have the history that your foes, your children, your you know brothers, sisters, uncles, up to five million people were intentionally exterminated by these people who are coming after us. So you cannot let that thing that kill your brothers and sisters to kill you because you want to be in Nigeria. If any of the Biafrans, if any human being that lives in that country shall call Nigeria, see what have what went on in the past and then stay condoning what is going on. And if any of our children, if any of all the boys of the Biafra do not know that these people do not have any good thing to think about them, their intention is a total extermination of the youth of the Biafrans and the occupation of our land. And this is what they are intended to do. So please, having seen all these things, if you don't know what is coming to you, you better watch it again. Look at how they are just doing with the Boko Haram, repentant Boko Al Haram, the herdsmen paying them. When they kidnap children, they will go and they negotiate and pay them. But how come the bomb, they have to come and throw a bomb at all? They don't know who is a civilian. An old woman might be going to the farm, and then old man might be going, sick people might die. they throw the bomb indiscriminately, they don't know who is going to hit. Mas, if something is up, they have to know. If they don't know, we have to know. And we have to go to the internal cleansing of our place. All these politicians that are bringing all these people, this is the second wave of the thing we have to do. Mas, having said this now, please, I am urging our people, please, the only way you can help, I don't know, because you cannot be able to go and carry gun and start going, going home to shoot. But for you that are in diaspora, please, I am begging you, no matter wherever you are, Please go and visit our website, and that our website is www.rbobinusa.org slash donate, www.rbobinusa.org slash donate. When you go there, donate anything you want to donate, to show, just to show that this thing that they are, they are doing to us, you don't like it. With that anger, go ahead and donate. Mazim, thank you so much for all the good job you've been doing. God bless you. God bless and you please too. just stay tuned to the web, web, you know, webinar that uh, our own is going to have today. So, you know, please just call in and see how you can be able to help. Thank you, Mazim. Thank you so much. All right, this is Radio Biafra USA 2. I still want to remind you about today. When about the ID number is 890 eight seven eight two two six four four that's the id on the web on the zoom meeting that's eight nine zero eight seven eight two two six four four and the passcode is three four nine zero six four three four nine zero six four you are all invited Today is special meeting, fundraising. I can see the phone is still ringing, but unfortunately, the time is up. We cannot pick any more calls at this time. Please stay tuned. Don't go away because Mazi Alozie is coming in on Radio Biafra USA 1. It's coming in any minute from now. Whatever information you need, please direct it to Radio Biafra USA 1. 7 p.m. Eastern Time is the time that we are meeting on the Zoom today with our leader and special guest of honor. Don't forget, I have to remind you that Biafra is our religion and Radio Biafra is where we worship. From me to you, it's goodbye. I'll see you again tomorrow, God's willing, same time.